Hello everyone, it is princess underscore mini4 and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be revealing my 2024 New Year's resolutions and my 2024 New Year's vision board. If you guys are new here, please make sure you hit that notification bell and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a post. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is my New Year's resolutions. So I'm doing it in the same spot I did last year because it's kind of cool. So yeah. It's pretty long this year, but it's not even really that long. It's just that I use a bigger font. And I always hang it up on my wall, and then I just check it off when I do everything. So the first thing is to achieve all A's and B's in my last three classes. So I have three more classes until I graduate. I mean, I pretty much still have to do this little independent senior project. I know I've been talking about that a little bit on my channel. I don't really still know what's going on with that. I'm waiting for a professor to write me up a proposal. Look, I don't know. So yeah, that's I'm still waiting on that, but I plan on passing that as well. So the first one is to achieve all A's and B's in my last three classes. Then the second one is to graduate in May of 2024. So that's when I'm supposed to graduate. I wanna graduate with my bachelor's, bachelor's of arts degree in May of 2024. Um, the third one is to find a full-time career with my degree. So I keep on saying I went to college for a reason. I spent all this money and all this time and energy and emotions and everything for a reason. I don't want to get a job that says a high school diploma is needed. I want to get a job that says preferably a bachelor's degree is needed. But if it just says college degree, I'll go with that as well. But yeah, this year I want to get a full-time career with my degree. The fourth one is to get closer with God. I say this every year. I feel like there's no way that you can get too close with God. So I feel like I'm always going to put that down. I feel it's always something I'm going to keep working towards. And yes, yeah, so I want to get closer with God. Then we have to read the entire Bible. So in 2023, I went on the YouVersion Bible app and I... um did like a full year bible plan of really like it pretty much when i was in the bathroom brushing my teeth washing my face it would pretty much just read it to me you know kind of like when you do like um the thing where you can drive and you have the it reading the book to you but i want to physically read my bible this year that's why i asked for that bible thing um the bible planning thing for christmas there will be a morning routine coming out soon and you'll see how I do my Bible study. So I pretty much I'm going to physically read the Bible this year. I mean, that's that's one of my New Year's resolution. Um, I, I wrote on here to attend church every Sunday. There are not a time limit on these, probably just like 2025. So like December 31st of this year. Um, I'm still going to start off with going every six, I mean, every six months. I'm still going to start off with going every other week. And then eventually, maybe June, I would just decide to go, okay, I'm going to go every single Sunday. So right now, it's still going to be every other Sunday. Um, and then I will eventually, hopefully by the 31st of December of 2024, I will have gone every Sunday for like at least six months. We'll have to see. So I wrote on here to eat out less and cook more. Um, because I mean, pretty much once the holidays roll around, we stopped cooking. We need to get back on cooking for real. But yeah, I just got to when we was just eating out, eating out, eating out. And I don't really like that. Cause yeah, cause then I'd be weighing 136, 137, 138. Like I like it better when I'm under 135, but it's fine. Like I said, like I always say, I'm gonna get back onto it. You know, I'm already 136. I already lost a pound since Monday. So I'm good. And today's Tuesday, by the way. Um, I have eat more fruits and vegetables. That is one of the things I really have a problem with. I really don't eat that many fruits and vegetables. Like I can really go a long time without eating either. So that is one thing I'm going to work on this year is eating more fruits and vegetables. Just like I say, even if I have like the bloom, the stuff, the drink I was drinking, that's still kind of a fruit or vegetable. Just have some kind of way to get a fruit and a vegetable in. Preferably, they say in every meal, but if I could just do once a day, that would be amazing. Um, so I have figured out problem with my menstrual cycle. So, I mean, I've talked about this briefly on my channel, but for the most part, my period is regular. In 2023, I actually got 10 periods because it skipped a month two times. So I don't want to say skip two months because it didn't skip two months. It skipped a month two times. So I had 10 periods, which other than that, it pretty much was regular. Like it would come like, except for the two months it skipped, it would come pretty much regular. So I have like a regular period. Which is why they don't think I have PCOS. But it's like I just have really heavy flow and horrible cramping. So I just kind of want to figure out 
what I can do to eight, like lighten the flow and just kind of not get rid of the cramps. Like I'm not ever expecting to not have cramps, but I don't want to have as much cramps as I have. I don't want to have to rely on Tylenol for the rest of my life. Like that's not, I don't want to rely on pain meds all the time. So that's what I'm going to try to do this year. Um, and I didn't write that on here, but I wrote it on there. I am not taking birth control. I am so tired of doctors just throwing birth control on you. Anytime you have a problem with your cycle, they just want to throw birth control. No, that can't be the only explanation. And that can't be the only thing that's going to fix something. I'm, I don't plan on ever taking birth control ever. I really don't. You know what I'm saying? I know it's like, oh, what if you want to have kids? There are other ways if you're with a man to not have kids than birth control. They got a uh, protection. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to, I hate birth control. I've been on so many birth controls and my body always hates it like always hates it so i don't ever plan on being on birth control ever again like I, I really hate it i have it sitting in the kitchen but i most likely will never use it so i hope she don't think that she gonna have to send me another refill because she's not because i ain't using it anyway so i have figure out problem with dry scalp i don't even know if i ever really talked about it much but i have really bad dry scalp i got a lot of problems y'all <laughs> i have my, my my menstrual cycle look at my face I also want to figure out something with my acne. Like, what's up with that? That's crazy, y'all. Um, I never had this bad of acne until I got my IUD removed. Now it's just like, boom, boom, and it just won't go away. That's why the only thing birth control is good for is it gets rid of my acne. But I'd rather have acne than have to worry about gaining weight and being sick all the time because I'm on birth control. But anyway, so I have really bad dry scalp. And, I've always, and this is all my life. I've always had really bad dry scalp. And I've always had a whole bunch of dandruff. And just no matter how many times I grease my hair, my hair is just always dry. So I want to figure out maybe I got to find a certain shampoo that's going to work. And my scalp is always itching. I just want to figure out what to do with that. Like 2024 is going to be my year of just trying to figure out my life and just trying to like be more in tune with my body and figure out what's going on. So, so I wrote on here, read a book a month. I want to do that again. I think it's such a good hobby. I think reading is such a good hobby and I love reading. So I'm doing it again. I already started my new book for this month. I'm going to read a book a month again this year. Um, so I have get monetized on YouTube. I'm hoping this year I get to start making money off of YouTube. I start getting that little checkity check. That's what I hope for. That's on my new resolutions. I have on here, spend less money. That is a big thing. Like I spoke about before, I do not have a job. So it's like whenever I spend money, it's gone. Like I don't get it back. So that's why I need to focus on spending less money. Buying things I only really need. Stop going to the store and just picking up stuff just because it's new and just because it's different. Until I get a job. But even then, I still should not spend a whole bunch of money. Then on my last one on here, I have spend more time with family and friends. So that is one thing I do want to work on, even though it's like family sometimes is really hard to like spend time with. Because like I said, with my mom's side of the family, there's a whole video up about that. I just, the older I got, the more I realized that they just don't reach out to anybody. You know what I'm saying? At first, at one point, I thought it was just targeted at me. But no, they just don't reach out to anybody. Like they really don't. So it's like they'll have like a few parties throughout the year but if you're not at a party you're not going to talk to them so it's like i want to spend more time with family and when i and when i say friends i mean like my in-person friends and then like my online friends my thigh looks so nasty that's just y'all know i had surgery so um but yeah so i want to spend more time with like my online friends which means like playing games with them and going to twitchcon maybe twitchcon 2024 that would be so dope and just like you know talking with them more and hanging out in the voice chat on discord and just you know being more around and just being more available and just not always muting the discord and everything like that like i want to be more social so yeah that is my 2024 new year's resolutions yeah, like I said, there's not really like a time. I guess you could say the limit is December 31st. But a lot of these things are going to be just fixed this year. You know what I'm saying? Like I know a lot of people be like, oh, New Year's resolutions are just made to be broken. Or people only follow them for January. I don't know about y'all, but I do. Every I've been making New Year's resolutions all my life. And I always make sure I follow them. And I hang it up somewhere so I can see it. And I'm always working towards it. But maybe that's because of my OCD, right? Like, so it's just certain things work for me. Everybody can't do New Year's resolutions because it probably, it took me a while. It stressed me out a little bit, but I still get it done. And I actually still work towards them. Like you've seen in the other, 
other video i only i only didn't do three things out of the things that were on there so i worked towards my news resolutions and having these gives me something to work towards and i like having something to work towards so that's why i do new year's resolutions and that's why i do my vision board which i only done my vision board maybe three times now and I love doing it and I hang it up and I get to see it almost every day I go in my room. So it's always like a constant reminder. Okay, you're doing this for a reason. You're going to school for this. You're, you're losing weight for that. You know, there's always something, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it just to do it. So that is why I like doing it. So let's get on to this vision board. All right, you guys, I actually just finished this. <laughs> but here is my vision board for 2024. So I left a lot of spaces in between because I don't like them when they're all cluttered up. You know, everybody, like I said, it's, it's to each their own. And everybody has their own creativity. I just don't like the ones where they're like overlapping stuff. I feel like you don't really get the meaning of everything. But this is just a little view of it. So I kind of put everything in sections. So I'm going to start over here. This is how I started when I put it together. So we're going to start over here. So this is like my life with God and my spiritual side. So right here it says her real glow up was when she began focusing on God. So that's what that says right there. Then we have a church right here because I want to go to church more. Then we just have this little bridge with the cross and the sunset because I want to get closer with God. Then this right here says seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. So I just want to put my life in God's hands. And just because I sometimes, like I said, I don't know what I want to do in my life. I don't know what I should do in my life. So I'm just going to put my hands up and just let God just show me the path that I want. I need to go in. You know what I'm saying? So I have the Bible here. So I, I want to read the Bible. And this right here says, God's opening a door for you. No one can shut. Walk through it, giving him the glory. So he is showing me a path and I just need to walk towards that path and everything should be good. You know what I'm saying? So I'll just go down here, I guess. So this right here is a little small, but it says a new era of me because this is a new era of me. Like I said, 2023 was to rest and recover. I had five surgeries. I really couldn't be me, but now I'm finna be me, y'all. So, so I did put a little picture of me here because I literally love that outfit. Uh, I'm gonna do a little close up at the end, but I love that outfit. That's why I put that there. So down here in this section is gonna be like new things I'm gonna try to do, which I've been doing a lot of them, but yeah. So this right here shows like a whole bunch of people in the gym working out. So yeah, I just want to work out more, be more active. You know, spend at least 30 minutes, at least five days a week working out and stuff, regardless of being on my period and stuff. I still want to work out and still want to just, you know, get used to being active. So right here, it shows just fruits and vegetables. Like I said, I want to eat more fruits and more vegetables. This down here is showing, um, it says go for healthy cooking methods. So it has baked, broiled, braised, steamed, and grilled. And it says to avoid fried or deep fried foods. So it has like the chips, the burger, you know, I think those are dumplings and like fries. So I like, I, one thing I want to do is to, did I, I didn't write that down on here. No, I didn't. I want to stay away from fried foods or just limit my fried food intake i ain't gonna never ever restrict myself of certain things unless my body does like with my weight loss surgery i can't really tolerate tuna or oatmeal so i stay away from it then like certain things that gave me dumping syndrome which is when your blood sugar just plummets to like deadly levels those are the things i'm obviously gonna stay away from because it just gets to the point where it's like I might as well. It's not really helping me. I'm never going to restrict myself from food because then that makes you overeat it. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to limit my fried food intake, especially since my cholesterol, my cholesterol level is finally where it needs to be. So I don't want to have it go back up. So yeah, then this right here just shows like a like a wok or like a person cooking. So I, like I said, I want to cook more. Then this right here just says gym membership. I I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. But I do want to look into getting a gym membership. It may not be this year because I don't got money to keep just spinning. You know what I'm saying? I still got to go to college and I don't know if I'm going to stop at my bachelor's or not. So I don't know if I'm going to get a gym membership now. And it all depends on like the location, what's the commitment, all of that. But it is something I want to start looking into. 
because obviously I live up. I don't know if y'all know that I live upstairs. We got neighbors down below us. So I can't be doing jumping jacks and all these high knees and stuff because we got neighbors. I don't, I don't want to be that upstairs neighbor because <laughs> I had them neighbors growing up. You don't want the upstairs neighbor. So I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Certain things you can only do in the gym. So it's something I want to look forward to. Then this right here just has McDonald's crossed out. Like I know people are not going to McDonald's because of the war, but I just want to stay away from fast food. Like I said, every now and then, maybe even once a month, even once a week is better than, you know, going all the time. I just want to limit my fast food intake as well. So right here, this is a picture of Biggie and Ebony. They sitting right there. They listening. So, you know, I got them on there. So this obviously right here says 2024. Then this right here says 2023. Thank you for all the lessons. 2024, I am ready. I got a lot of lessons learned in 2023. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to dwell on certain things, but I, I am ready for this year. And you know what? Anything that happens to me, what they said, no weapon against um, form against me shall prosper. So I think that's it. I'm still working on my Bible verses, but I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I got God with me. I got my family, everything. You know what I'm saying? so where should i go next i guess i'll go up here to the top so right here is a picture of me my grandma and my uncle at christmas then this right here is a picture of me and my two cousins the little boys that i babysit a few times on my channel so um yeah that's just like indicating that i want to spend more time with them spend more time with family this that and the third then we're going to go over here, which to me is kind of one of the second most important sides for me. So this right here, it says class of 2024. I, I'm, I'm going to speak it into existence. I am graduating with my bachelor's degree in May of this year. So this up here has like, you know, the little people throwing up the caps, you know, when you graduate. Even though I never, we never did that. But anyway, I don't think they really actually do that. So this right here says career. Um, I want to find my career. I want to get a career. So that is one of the things I also want to do this year. Then this right here, like I said, I want to achieve all A's and B's. That's an A, that's a B. That's what I want to do in my last three classes. Um, Because the classes that I took in the fall, I got all A's in all three classes. So I want to do it again. But I put A's and B's because I don't want to be that like, I want to be a straight A student. I don't want to be stressed out. So A's and B's is amazing. Honestly, when you're in college, passing is amazing but i'm striving for a's and b's and this right here says dream job so i hope i find my dream job I, like i said before i don't really know what i want to do yet in my life but hopefully i'll find my dream job that doesn't really have a timeline on there so this up here says i am creating the life of my dreams so that is that on there Oh, uh, and this right here just says a full-time job. So I plan on getting a full-time job. Regardless, if I decide to go back and get my master's, I may probably do like a master's degree online. I'm still going to work a full-time job because I need money and I want to save money because I want to start doing things in my life. Like I said, saving for an apartment, saving for having kids, saving for this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? I want to make money. So that's kind of goes into this where this one says save money um it has like a thing being saved so i just need to i'm a like my big i already have like a plan i don't really have a job yet i want to get a job i want to open up a separate bank account like at the same bank but just like a separate bank account just have only the money from that job going there and just save it you know what i'm saying so this right here says actually life is beautiful and i have time and this right here is so powerful to me because i just always feel like i have to rush and i don't know why like i don't know if it's social media which i kind of think it is social media or is it the fact that both of my parents passed away young but some reason i just feel like i gotta rush like i i feel like i don't have time to just kind of take life as it is i just feel like i gotta get done school get a job have my kids because i don't know when i'm gonna die which nobody knows when they're going to die but it's like i feel like i really shouldn't rush my life i should just sit back and enjoy it and just kind of live each day as my last which is kind of hard to do that because you can't leave each day as your last you know what i'm saying but i just always feel like i have to rush i don't know like i said i really do think a lot of it is social media because you're on social media and you see people your age having kids and you see people your age getting married so you just feel like you're behind but in hindsight i'm not behind there is no time limit on it you know but that's easier said than done, but I'm trying to focus on that, just staying in the present and not worrying about the future too much because there's really nothing I can do about the future. You know, the future is the future. So, yeah. Then this right here is a woman pregnant. 
So I put this on here and I, it's, it's pretty much for preparing for a pregnancy. I know I've talked very briefly on my channel um, about how I want to have kids. And I want to have kids when I'm younger for a lot of reasons. Because the main reason for me is that I want to have kids by myself. I want to be a single mother. I don't want to be tied to a man. And I don't want to be with a man or a woman. I don't really see myself being in a relationship. Relationships aren't really for me. But it could just be I haven't found my soulmate. Or I haven't found my dream person. Or I haven't, you know, found the right person. But to me, it's just I don't ever see myself being with somebody. At least long term. That I want to have a kid with them. So that's why. I, like, So there's a lot of reasons why I want to have kids. Young. For one, I just want to have kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I just feel like there's there's really not a time limit on having kids. There are 13 year olds out here having kids and nobody bats an eye at that. So me at 22 being established, having a job, having money, which I don't have a job yet, but I have money. So I feel like there's no reason why I should wait. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody in my family and everything was going to wait to. I'm going to be like, you need to wait till you're married. Like I said, I'm not waiting till I'm married <laughs> because I'm just not. Like I said, I'm not waiting until I'm married because that's not a timeline for me because my dad had me and my brother and he was never married. My mom had me and my brother and she was never married. So <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, my plan this year is to prepare for a pregnancy for next year. I want to get inseminated with a donor sperm and I want to have a kid next year. I want to get pregnant in 2025 and hopefully have a kid that same year or in 2026 so that's why i put that on here because there's certain things you know you need to do like obviously i would have to stop taking my zoloft i would have to start taking prenatal vitamins obviously go to the doctors this that and the third so it's not going to be something that's going to happen overnight then i got to make a doctor's appointment to get inseminated i got to find a donor sperm all of that so that is why that's on here so yeah and this right here is kind of like my hobbies and like the stuff I'm like passionate about section. So this is Discord. Um, Discord is like a little online chatting thing or like you can make a server. So Jojo has a server and like that's how I not how I met Jojo. I met Jojo on Twitch right here. This is Twitch. So they kind of go hand in hand. So a lot of Twitch streamers have Discord. So you pretty much go on there and you just talk to people. So that's how I have like my online friends is from Discord. And I'm actually a moderator on there, just like I'm a moderator on Twitch for JoJo. So this is kind of goes hand in hand with this. This is the Jods because her name is JoJo and we're mods. So Jods. So that is what we are. That is all of us. There's actually a few more. Well, a few less and a few more. Um, so, yeah, I just want to spend more time with them, talking with them, get closer with them, hopefully meeting up with them again at TwitchCon, hopefully. And, you know, I'm passionate about them. I'm passionate about them and everything like that. So that's why I put them on my vision board. So we had this black girl right here reading books because I want to read a book a month again. This right here is YouTube. This is what I'm filming this on. Um, I'm very passionate about watching YouTube videos and filming YouTube videos. So that's why that's on there. So this right here is a uterus. Can y'all tell that? That's a uterus. So I want to, like I wrote on here, I want to figure out my problem with my menstrual cycle. So that is why that's on there. And then this right here, it's little, but it's very important. It says no birth control, y'all. I'm telling you, I am not taking birth control. I have no reason to take birth control. It doesn't do anything for me. I've had so many birth control pills, which all they've done is maybe gain 50 pounds in two months. All they've done is made me have hot flashes. All they've done is made me have severe headaches, which lead me getting diagnosed with migraines. Birth control to me never does anything good. It makes me sick and has the risk of blood clots. Like birth control is just not good for me. Everybody is different and everybody does their own thing. And if you want to do, you know, the plan B's, the abortions, I am not the kind of person to judge anybody or anything you do. If you want to use birth control and you want to use birth control with your boyfriend, you know, condom, blah, blah, blah. That's on you you know what i'm saying i'm not going to judge you but i'm talking about me i am not using birth control i am not it just does not you know what i'm saying i'm not using the birth control pills that they gave me because i was promised that i could go there and do the little they would put you under and they would pretty much just like take a sample of your uterus and see if you have endometriosis because we're trying to figure out what's wrong with my cramps and then when i make the appointment with the girl the first thing she says is well i'll just put you on birth control and she was like i don't really want to do that yet because you know blah, blah, like like this whole excuse is it's like i hate doctors that just want to always put women on birth control that's not the only solution to the problem 
You know what I'm saying? Like, give me a better pain pill, something. There has to be some kind of explanation for me having these horrible cramps other than just putting me on birth control. You know what I'm saying? I've been on so many birth controls and I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And I, I'm tired of doctors not listening to me. I just decided to go to a different GYN. But anyway, that is why I put that on there to remind myself whenever I'm getting told or forced, because sometimes doctors will low key force you. She pretty much forced me to get on birth control. That was not what I wanted to do. And she's like, well, let's just try this first. Even when I try to say, well, I wanted to do that test. No, let's just try this first. Like I said, I was pretty much forced to get on birth control. And that's not working for me. Like I said, I'm going to stand up for myself this year and I'm not letting no doctor tell me what to do. That's crazy. But anyway, so that's why if, if I'm ever being forced, I come home and I'm going to see this and I'll be like, oh, yeah, no, we're not getting on birth control. So this right here, it says stay single. I don't even think I really got to explain that, but I will. Um, I have no problem being with relationships and trying relationships with people. But to me, relationships right now in my life at 22 years old are a distraction. And because like I said, in my previous relationship, I couldn't really focus on God and I couldn't really focus on, you know, my schoolwork because it was just a constant. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to speak on stuff too much because I don't want to speak on something that's in the past. But to me right now, relationships are a distraction. I am focused on me, myself, my family. I'm focused on God. I don't want no relationship right now. That's just going to be this. That's just going to be, you know, distraction. I can't, you know, do my schoolwork. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't. Not right now. Like I said, if God sends me somebody and, you know, he's consistent about it, we'll figure it out. But as of right now, today is January 2nd. I don't want no relationships this year. I'm good. It's just a distraction. So this right here is a black lady doing her little girl's hair. But I put that on there just so I can find um, the problem with my dry scalp. And I'm still kind of going back and forth if I want to grow out my hair. And okay if i want to grow out my hair or not because part of me wants to get dressed and then the other part of me doesn't want to get dressed other part of me wants to grow out my hair other part of me wants to keep it short so that's why i just put that on there we'll figure that out we got what 300 and it's a leap year this year 366 we have 300 we got a long time we got a long time to figure it out i can't math right now and last on here is this little quote so it says sis you are about to enter the best chapter of your life and i believe that like i said oh so this is my vision board but 2023 was my year to rest and recover and 2024 is to get on that grind get that degree get in shape um i'm saying figure out my problems prepare for a pregnancy and y'all know if i actually do go with, along with that like obviously nothing will be started someone was detected at your front door nothing <laughs> every video y'all nothing will be started until the end of this year like preparing for it because i'm pretty much gonna start y'all know how i did a, a project on how to plan a pregnancy so of course i'm gonna follow that and everything like that but y'all know i be vlogging all the time i'm be uploading two videos a month so if i do decide to go along with this pregnancy stuff y'all know i'm gonna be filming it so don't worry about that but there's a lot of things I'm excited about this year and I'm excited about having three classes on campus. I'm going to be there all day. God knows, but it gets me out of the house. It gets me motivated. It gets me just, you know, productive. So I am really excited for this year. I feel really good and I just feel like God is just, you know, showing me the paths and everything is, you know, I'm a firm believer. Everything happens for a reason. So things that happened last year was just, what does that thing say? Thank you for all your life lessons. Everything, you know what I'm saying? It's a lesson. Everything that happened last year was a lesson. And this year, I'm just going to just, I'm just going to be better. And, you know, and I ain't saying it's just because it's January. Like, people be like, oh, people's New Year resolution be broken by February. Not this person. My OCD helps me in that. <laughs> I stick, I stick to my list and I stick to stuff. Not all of it, obviously, but things that are important, like my health. Like I, one thing about me and people always talk to me, my doctors and stuff, they're always praising me for how I'm very... I'm very extra about my health and I am because like I said, I don't, I don't want to be sick 
and maybe it's because my dad passed away from cancer and my mom passed away from sickle cell and my dad kind of really didn't go not he went to the doctors more than my mom but not really that much and i remember one time he was complaining this has nothing to do with this but he was complaining about having to take a whole bunch of vitamins but he really didn't you know follow what they say and i don't follow everything they say obviously i just went to my bariatric people today i don't follow everything thoroughly but like the most important things like after having weight loss surgery is having to take all those vitamins and stuff they tell you to do a lot of people didn't do that and i really can say that my dad did not do that and my mom did not go to the doctors much at all up until until maybe a year or two before she passed y'all are going to always see me at the doctors maybe that's why because it's like if there is something that you can catch early like i said i don't ever want to think about having cancer but if it's something that can be caught early i i want to i want to know i want to be there and get it done you know what i'm saying some things is really out of people's control which really up to god but i want to catch it early that maybe that's i don't know maybe that's also part of my ocd the obsession with going to the doctors but yeah, I'm not a hypochondriac, I should say. I don't go that often. But yeah. Anyways, those are my 2024 New Year's resolutions and my 2024 vision board. So let me know down below if you guys do. Oh my God, look at my thighs, y'all. And I had a thigh lift. But anyway, um, let me know down below if you guys do New Year's resolutions or if you don't even want to call it that. Do you make goals? Um, because one year I was having like, I was stressed out. So I just called it goals. Cause sometimes it is like a play on words. Just don't call it a new year resolution. Just call it your goals. Do you have goals? And what are some of your goals? If you care to share, you don't have to, um, do you make vision boards and you know, you can also let me know any things that you accomplished in 2023. You know, it is very good to look back and see what you've done. And sometimes you don't really realize what you've done until you look back. Like when I was losing weight, cause at one point, I honestly never thought that I was that big. But when I look back now, I'm like, oh my God, look how much weight I have lost. So it is really kind of nice to be able to look back and see what you have accomplished. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to a notification bell knowing I post and share this video with your friends. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, love you. Biggie's waving at there, y'all.